Hey guys, it's Alex Torelli. Welcome back to today's episode of Q&A, where I take your questions on lifestyle and business. But today's question comes from Joe, who is in a tough spot. And he writes to me and says that my, my tweets, my blogs, things have really inspired him lately. And he's gotten more in focused, more focused, not in focused, more focused with his intention for playing poker. And this has helped him along and on his journey. He says he goes on to say, I know why I play poker now. I don't play for myself, but I play for my family. But he's had some difficult family times lately. His father passed away recently, which was really tough for him. And this caused him to sort of lose it emotionally, which affected his career. He made some mistakes, lost some money when this happened, and he had a rough patch. Now, misfortune struck again. And I'm really sorry, it's a, it's a really tough spot. His mother is uh, it's going through a really tough time. She's sick and he has to take care of her. On top of that, he loses his job. He was making 42,000 a year, he tells me, but expenses are high where he lives. He's got taxes, he's got expenses, he's living with his girlfriend, he's taking care of his girlfriend, he's taking care of his mom, and it's tough. So now he's using poker to try and make money on the side. He says he has a 3K bankroll, he plays some small games. Uh, he's happy online poker is legal. Sometimes he goes to the casino and plays some small stakes online or some small tournaments. And he's really wondering, how did you get this situation back on track? He said, what would you do in my situation? Uh, I don't have as much time as I'd like uh, to do all these things and I'm feeling a lot of pressure for my life situation to earn money immediately to take care of, of my, my mom and my family. And he says, I've, I've been doing this for months, I just feel stuck. How would you approach this mentally? And what steps would you take to take the pressure off yourself and me in this situation, knowing that I'm, I'm playing poker for a greater cause? Joe, my friend, first, my condolences, you're in a really tough spot, and I'm sorry you hit a rough, rough patch. Sometimes you can't really control the cards you're dealt. But what you can make put the focus on is how you play the hand. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm sorry that you haven't been dealt the best starting hand in this situation, but you can still make decisions that will maximize your situation. And so I hope I'm gonna shed some light on that today. So I think that what I'm hearing from you is that you're in a situation where you used to be succeeding at poker a lot more and some stressful, life circumstances happened to you that made it harder. And this stress translated from your real life and you brought that to the poker table. And that's a very normal process. The things that the person we are in our real life, the insecurities we have, the problems we have, the good things that happen to us, the confidence we get from uh, getting a raise or something good happening to us, something positive happening to us, we take that with us to the poker table because we're the same person on the table. On the table, how we play, our mood, our emotions, our ability to play our best is a reflection of the life situation that we're, we're going through and we're experiencing. If everything's going well in your life, you're, you're on a roll, everything, you're on a high, things are going well, money's good, life is good, your girl's good, you're eating healthy, you're feeling good, you're working out, probably you're gonna go to the poker table and smash it because everything is just going well. You're in a winning state. When you're in a losing state or a stressful street or a frustrated state, it's inevitable, it's not, no, no, not a fault of yours, it's just inevitable that that energy goes right to the poker table. And, and worse is that energy needs an outlet. When you have a lot of stress in your life, sometimes people go to the gym, sometimes people resort to alcohol, God forbid. Sometimes people gamble. But when you go to do something, that's a leisure activity or an enjoyable activity, and there's a lot of stress coming in from this way, and you're going to pass that along and exert that and get rid of that at the poker table, and probably that's gonna translate into you not playing your best. You're not being as patient as you need to be, as disciplined as you need to be, as focused as you need to be, as level-headed as you need to be, as able to recover from bad beats as you need to be able to, right? You're probably noticing some of that happening. So while it seems like I'm hearing from you that you need to achieve immediately in poker in order to provide for your life situation, that's what I'm hearing from you. That 
is providing, that is adding more stress to an already stressful life circumstance. So you have a stressful life circumstance. Now poker has changed for you into what was once a hobby, what was once something enjoyable, what was once a leisure activity, where you can go there and be stimulated and challenge yourself mentally and enjoy the conversation and stimulation of those around you. And now you're going to the table with pressure, with with a need for something. A need, you're, you're going there instead of enjoying the process, you're going there with a need to achieve a desired result. And that's taking away from your enjoyment of the process and it's very hard to be successful when you are focused on the result, okay? The result that you want to achieve is a product of focusing on the journey, of enjoying the journey, of doing the little steps right, of making all the correct decisions along the way. And if you're not in the mental space to do that, then even though your goal is, and your need, it's not even like a goal, it's like a, you need this for, to provide for your situation. And I commend you for, for, for doing that, is to earn. By going to the table, I feel like you're in a spot where there's too much around you that's causing stress, and it's gonna be a place that you're not only gonna not earn, but you're probably gonna be in a losing state of mind. So instead of your current situation going, staying level, as if you were not to play, your current situation is probably gonna get slightly worse. And it's not only the money that you're gonna lose here because it's a 3K bankroll and in the, in the grand scheme of things, a 3K bankroll isn't a bankroll that is life-changing. But it's the, ment the added mental anxiety of knowing that you failed at something or you lost something or you're so intently focused on the results and you didn't achieve something that it just compounds this stress and adds something that is just the, the straw that breaks the camel's back and then you just completely derail. Right, And that's when bad things happen. So I think that even though you might be able to afford using this money, even though there might be some upside to using this money in the sense that you don't have a ton to lose, but you know, if, you, if you're playing these $20 tournaments or $100 tournaments or whatever, and maybe you bink one and now you win 10K, 20K, you could change your life situation for the, for the better. So you're not risking a lot financially, and you have a lot to gain financially, potentially, because losing might not change your life situation that much. This money might not change your life that much. But I think that we have to step away from the financial consideration here and look at the emotional consideration and your energy and your time, which is so much more valuable right now than this specific amount of money. And I think that what you're risking here by using this money towards an outlet like poker is you're, probably, you're risking mental anxiety, self-confidence, emotion, your, your, your wasted energy, your inability to be productive, right? Your attention is focused all on this circumstance, this poker, right? And if you look at your opportunity with this poker, with this 3K that you have, you know, even if you were to double your money, triple your money, which would be an amazing result in a short period of time if you were proper at practicing good bankroll management. It wouldn't change your life situation that much, right? So you're either going to be in a spot where you're forced to do something that is sort of a little too aggressive, which is gonna dramatically increase the chance that something goes wrong, or you're gonna practice good bankroll management and do everything right and, and be putting a ton of energy, perhaps all your energy, into focusing on making this go well. And then even if you do succeed, it's not a result that is really life-changing, which is what you need to have happen right now. You need something that's practical that, that happens, right? So I would recommend to step away, take a step back from poker right now and take your energy that's going towards this activity that is hard to control the variables, that's stressful, that needs to produce a result. Take your energy back, bring it inside here and focus, get together with your girlfriend, your family and figure out something that you could channel that energy into that's going towards a different direction that is more likely to succeed and reduce the stress that you have in your life circumstance. Now, even though it's not the ultimate goal, you mentioned some things about, you know, some of the, the lifestyle changes you wanna make in here, and I, I get it. Even though it's not the ultimate goal to go back to having a job, I think that sometimes you don't always have a clear, direct path from where you are to where you wanna go. Sometimes there's a roadblock 
in the way, right? You're, 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 you're trying to go on a straight line like Google Maps. You go on Google Maps and you, you just do the shortest distance, right? That you just want to go from point A to point B and, and, and it doesn't cross, you don't, why would you ever take a road that goes in a triangle or a zigzag? You just go directly to point A to point B. This is how we're taught, right? But I think that in your situation, there's, there's a huge roadblock. Or sometimes when you're going in, the, in one direction, you, you, you have to exit the freeway because you know there's a detour and you have to go around to get where you're trying to go. And that's sort of what you have to do here. You kind of have to focus on getting a stable situation back in your life circumstance, like getting a job, to solve some of these problems here, reduce some of this stress here, save up the money that you need, and then take that money back to poker. So you're just gonna take a little bit of a detour, but you're still gonna have your eyes your head focused on the ultimate goal, even though you know you're just taking a little bit longer of a road to get there. But you told me that you were making 42K a year at a job. Now I think that if you determine the hours that you spend working and the opportunity you have at a job, presumably you have some skills to have a job that's well paying and that you could be employed at. So I don't know what, what job you work in, what industry you work in, but I would focus on trying to find a way to get back into that environment in the immediate term, work with the connections you know, the people you know, to get you back plugged in and employed. And this having the stability of weekly paychecks coming in or, or monthly paychecks coming in, whatever it is, is going to provide you the resources you need to take care of your life situation. Now, while this happens, maybe take away 10, 20% and allocate it to, towards that 3K bankroll and grow the bankroll. Maybe get it up to 5K or 10K before you, while you're cleaning up the life circumstance so that you're building this thing over here so that when you clear up this roadblock, you have a straight line path to where you wanna go. And at that time, you could stay with your job, quit your job, maybe depending on how you, you know, where you're at in your life circumstance, how much money you've saved up playing poker, how good your life circumstance is or, or what opportunities provide themselves to you at that point. Now, I'm not saying you should never ever play poker during this situation, but definitely you should not play under the mindset of pressure and having to win and trying to achieve a desired result. Maybe you play one tournament a month because that's still an energy for you that's producing fun. But I think that what you need to have happen in your hobbies at this point in time is that those need to be a stress outlet for you, not a stress inducer. So try and focus your energy. Instead of you're playing poker, fill up that time with a stress outlet with something enjoyable, something productive. Maybe you're working on setting up a new business that's making money. Maybe you try and figure out what other skills you have that you can monetize in the future. Maybe you work towards with this job that you're doing and you try to do something on the side. You freelance or you do some contracting or whatever it is that you're involved in. But do something that has a healthy outlet towards stress. Go to the gym, take a kickboxing class, right? You wanna learn photography. I don't know what you wanna do. But I would have your hobbies be supporting you not working against you right now. So I think that this is your path. I think that there's a little roadblock and you have to accept that there's not always, a, you can't always take the direct path to where you wanna go. Sometimes flights have a layover. It's just the way the world works. Right now you got a stopover, my man. You got a stopover somewhere you don't wanna be, but just remember, stopovers are just that. They're short stopovers and then boom, continue on your journey. Be well, my man. Good luck. I just acted. Now it's on you. Peace. If you guys like this video, be sure to share it with a friend, someone you think would help, it would help benefit. And uh, if you guys have questions for me on lifestyle and business, I'm addressing them here in this channel. You can go to my blog, alectrelly.com, enter your name and email in the header, and subscribe. Respond to that email that you guys get, and let me know your questions. I'll put them here in a video for you. If you guys have questions on poker specifically, uh, you guys have questions in your poker career or things you're trying to improve upon, or specifically hands of poker you played that you're struggling with or situations you don't understand, shoot them over to me in that email as well when you subscribe to my blog and I will make y'all a video for my hand of the day channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers. Good day.